Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Steve. I'm the senior rec leader at Pascal Community Center. Today we're going to do a little uh, stick handling drills that you can do at home or outside, uh, wherever you can. If you do these drills every day, you'll definitely get better. You'll uh, make your hands a little better and a little more confident when you're stick handling the puck. Um, for the sake of, of time and everything else, you can you pretty much use anything you want at uh, any kind of ball. Golf ball works very well on a smooth surface. You keep your head up constantly. And it's, uh, it's a smaller target, so you really got to pay attention. You can use something like a wiffle ball. Again, nice and light. Keep your head up. You really want to focus. But today we're just going to use a puck because that's how we play hockey. So the main thing I want you to focus on is keeping your head up, protecting the puck, and really taking your time during these drills. We don't need to start off fast. We just need to be confident and uh, cool and calm. So we're going to just gonna start with a nice little back and forth, keeping our head up, focusing on the ice or the rink in front of you. If you're stick handling like this, it's not going to be good. You're not going to see your teammates open and you might get hit. So we really want to make sure we keep our head up. I'm going to do this for a little bit. The biggest thing about this drill is control. Nice and easy, sturdy. Then we're gonna bring it out a little wider. And we really gotta focus where the puck is. You gotta feel it on your stick. Go back and forth. A lot of people think you stick handle with the hand closest to the stick blade. That's incorrect. You're gonna use your, your top hand, this hand, to really control the stick. It's your guide hand. It's where all your power comes from. So we're gonna keep our heads up, keep our heads up. And while we're doing this, we could also simulate skating. We're gonna pick our feet up so we're not stagnant and not, uh, not still. You really wanna make believe you're moving at all times. And another drill you're gonna do right into the next one is uh, instead of stick handling in front of you, we're gonna work on protecting the puck. We're gonna go all the way around our bodies. We're gonna go all different directions. Trying to keep our head up. If you have to look down at the puck every once in a while, it's fine. Just make sure your head goes back up. While we're working on protecting the puck, we're also going to stick handle to the side. Head up, working this way. We're going to move our body, protecting, shielding from a defender. If you're stick handling just out in front like this, a defender is going to have an easy time taking it away from you. You really want to put your body in between, protecting the puck at all times. Head up. One that could, uh, a good drill that's Good for uh, getting your hands a little better and a little more confident is a little toe drag. You're going to take the toe, come this way. This one takes a little more focus and it's a little harder to do. Again, we're going to put them all together right now. We're going to do a little bit of everything. Always protecting, always protecting. Head up on the ice on your teammates, making sure every, you know where everything is at all times. All right, after you do that, we're gonna come over here. <clears throat> and we're gonna simulate skating with walking as best we can. If you have skates or if you're on the ice rink or if you're on a roller rink, even better, you can skate while doing it. We're just gonna go. In and out of the cones, trying to keep our head up as best as we can, and we're going to loop around and do it twice, okay? Once again, dragging and keeping your body in between your defender is important. Very good. One of the main things I was talking about before is the, the use of your, your top hand. So if your top hand just stays by your hip, which you don't want to happen, you're going to be limited in your range of motion. 
you're going to want to be able to have that, that, that arm come up here, come on the side of you over here to protect, come this way, especially if you're shielding. If you're shielding like this, the defender is not going to be able to get in there. So you're going to come over here. And that's a good thing to do for 5, 10, 15 minutes a day. It'll really help your hands get better and you'll be more confident when you're, when you're stick handling. Now I'm going to have uh, my colleague Pat come out here from Congress Community Center and we're going to work on some passing drills. So just like stick handling, one of the most important things to do during passing is keeping your head up and on target. If your head's down right here, you're not going to know your teammate is and you're going to throw passes all over the place. Another important thing is uh, having soft touch on the pass and having your teammate receive the pass soft. So just right now we're going to aim for his stick blade. He's going to gather it in, cradle it, and he's going to send it right back. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to gather it. I don't want to be lunging for it. I don't want to be going like that because then the puck is going to go in front of me and the defender will be able to steal it. Really want to work on cradling it, getting it nice and easy back to you. Making sure your eye is on your target and you're following through towards your teammate's stick. So we're not going to do short little range of motion. I'm not going to go like that. I'm really going to exaggerate it and put it right on a stick blade. So we'll do a couple more of these. You can work on getting a one touch pass, just gathering it and putting it back to your teammate like that as well. It really works on having soft hands. It's a good drill. And if you want to practice putting a little air under your pass too, using a saucer pass, you could definitely do that. Try to put it right on a stick. Next we'll work on passing with your backhand. So not all passes are always going to be easy to make. You're sometimes going to have a defender on them. You're shielding away and you want to get a nice backhand pass to your teammate. Pat's going to do the same right back to me. There you go. Got to put a little more juice on it. Very nice. And just like the forehand, you could put a little air on it if you need to. Just to get, that helps get it over defender sticks if their sticks are in the way. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to have Pat go from line to line and I'm going to try to lead him. And I'm going to do the same. He's going to lead me. So like in all sports, especially hockey, you're always on the move. You got to make sure you're passing to where your teammate's going to be, not where he is. So Pat's going to be moving. I'm going to try to lead him. I'm going to go towards this blue line and he leads me perfectly. He's going back that way. Put it on a stick. Oh, a little close to his feet. You want to make sure you live, give him a lot of room and he's able to grasp it. A couple more. Right on a stick. It gives him a nice opportunity to break out or get past his defender without losing any momentum. Very nice. Another drill we could do for passing or shooting or that matter is just find a wall or if you have a net or if you have uh, just any, any surface you could shoot at without your parents getting mad at you. Just try to pick out spots and just make really nice, nice hard passes, nice hard shots. So if I'm looking for a nice pass, there's six, six little pieces of blue uh, board here. I'm going to pick out one. I'm going to pick the first one. I'm going to try to get it right at it. Always pick out targets and keep your head up and really follow through where you want to go. If I wanted to put a little air on it, oh, I didn't put any air on that one. There you go. 
So this is all some stuff you could do at home. I promise you if you do it every day and put in the time, it'll, it'll pay off a lot of dividends. So thanks for your time. Thank you, Pat, for your help. And we hope to see you soon.